So this is the Ring Video Doorbell 408. Which one is it? Oh, this one. So what's new with the Ring Video Doorbell 4, which looks exactly the same as the Ring Video Doorbell 3? Let's find out. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today we are going to check and test out Ring's newest battery powered video doorbell, the Ring Video Doorbell 4. Now doing this review, I can finally say that wired video doorbells and Wi-Fi cameras are way better than battery powered ones. I've reviewed the cheaper Ring wired video doorbell a while back and the new Ring Pro 2. And these are Ring's wired video doorbells and I didn't have any issues with them. As to this Ring Video Doorbell 4, which is battery powered, Ring still needs to polish this up a bit because there are still some bugs in its firmware, which I'll tell you later on. I'm going to do a separate video comparing this doorbell with the Pro 2 pretty soon, which I can tell you right now, I'll pay the extra 50 bucks for the Pro 2 and run a power adapter if I need to. Now the main difference on this new model to the Ring 3 and the 3 Plus is the color preview and the quick replies which we'll be testing later on. So we will do a quick unboxing, set it up, do the install, and run some tests and see if this new Ring Video Doorbell 4 is worth it to be on your front door. Let's check out the features. This is the only battery doorbell that has a 4 second color pre-roll which will start recording 4 seconds before motion has been detected. Pre-roll or pre-recording is an important feature that most if not all and can be easily added to wired or plugged in cameras and video doorbells because they are always on and can continuously power our memory buffer which stores 4 to 6 seconds of footage and when motion is triggered that 4 to 6 seconds is added to the motion triggered recording. But battery powered ones are limited because this feature will drain the battery quick. Ring introduced the pre-roll feature on their battery-powered cameras last year with the Ring 3 Plus, but it was low-quality black and white footage from three small cameras, which I'm assuming they don't need a lot of battery power. By the way, I will link my review video of the 3 Plus doorbell in the description down below if you want to check it out. With this model, Ring uses the same main camera sensor on the pre-roll and it records in full color which we'll check out the video quality later on because I'm pretty sure those 4 seconds of pre-roll will not be good quality. Ring also states that this model has improved battery life, which because this is a new product, I'm not really going to be able to tell you at this time how long the battery lasts, but I'll do that in my upcoming comparison videos with this doorbell. Another new feature for this doorbell is the quick replies. You can set from preset responses and you can even use and select a response when you answer a doorbell press or watching the live view. No Alex A greetings on this model. For the basic features, it is still 1080p full HD resolution, motion alerts, two-way talk, customizable privacy settings, quick release rechargeable battery, and also works with Amazon Alex A. All other features are the same like other Ring cameras like real-time notifications, live view, and able to integrate with other Ring devices on the app. Also, you need to be subscribed to the Ring Protect plan if you want to view recorded footage, people-only detection, and rich notifications. Subscription starts at $3 a month or $30 a year for one camera or $10 a month or $100 a year for unlimited Ring cameras in your home. For more detailed specs, so it is 1080p resolution but the color pre-roll is not in 1080p. I know there is a catch. Customizable motion zones, 160 degrees horizontal and 84 degrees vertical field of view, two-way audio with noise cancellation, and the pre-roll does not include audio. Time to open up the box. So it comes in a minimalist box like the Pro 2. So we have the blue Torx driver for the security screw and it doesn't come with a combo Phillips driver anymore. We have the orange charging cable for the battery. We have the angled corner mount. We have a window sticker. We have some extension wires and wire nuts. We have two security screws, but you only need to use one though. We have the mounting screws and anchors if you install the corner mount and we have the regular mounting screws. We have the user guide. And we have the video doorbell itself. We have the camera lens, light sensor, mic, and the PIR sensor here on top. And we have the doorbell button. On the bottom, we have the security screw hole. On the sides, we have the speakers, which are on both sides. 
On the back, we have the terminal screws if you want this connected to your existing doorbell wires and you want the battery to be topped off. And also chime your existing doorbell chime. You can remove the faceplate to open up the battery compartment and you will see Ring's battery pack. This video doorbell 4 is the same in dimensions and mounting holes of the doorbell 3 and accessories should be interchangeable. For a quick comparison, they look exactly the same except for the small black and white cameras of the 3 Plus. As to the faceplates, they are interchangeable. And by the way, the 4 only came with a satin nickel faceplate and supposedly a digital coupon for one free additional one. I didn't see any paperwork or coupon in the box. Wedge kit is not included in the doorbell 4 compared to the 3 which also comes with the Venetian bronze faceplate. Time to set this up. Download, sign up, and log in to the Ring app. Scroll down and click Setup Device. Choose Doorbells. Scan the QR code which is on the side of the doorbell. It will prompt you to remember do not use the pointed mounting screws as the security screw. Because of the incident that happened before, that somebody used the regular screw resulting it to pierce the battery causing a fire. So now there is this big caution. Click Got It. And now you have to find those security screws. So now Ring will not be held liable when you misuse the screws in the installation and setup. Name your doorbell which I'll name mine Ring 4. Click continue. Put in the battery pack and wait for the doorbell's LED to light up and spin. And wait for your doorbell to connect. Choose the Wi-Fi network you want your doorbell to connect to. And if you have set up the Ring app with your Amazon Alex A before, your doorbell will also be automatically set up with Alex A. And if you have an Echo Show, it will show the live view automatically when somebody pushes the doorbell. Time to check out the settings in the app. On the main app page, you will see the recent snapshot of the camera. Click on it to check out the live view, which loads up pretty quick. In here, you can start the two-way audio. Or you can select on the quick replies and choose which message to play, which I'll be playing these messages later on. On the timeline, you can swipe to the right to show the recordings, like motion events, also when quick replies were used, live view and doorbell push events, and also the messages if your visitors left a message. I like the timeline because it's like a time lapse that you can go back and forth. You can click on the gear icon in the upper right corner to get to the camera settings, where you can toggle on or off the doorbell push alerts, motion detection, and motion alerts. We have events history where you can view recorded events just like in the timeline. Link devices if you are going to link other ring devices to this doorbell. We have motion settings where you can edit the motion zones which now looks like on their wired cameras. And this is with the advanced motion detection turned on. I'm not sure if it uses the PIR sensor or the camera based detection in this setting. But now you can customize the zones. You can also tweak the motion sensitivity from min to max. We also have smart alerts if you just want to detect people. On advanced settings is where you can turn on and off advanced motion detection, motion scheduling, and motion frequency. We have smart responses and this is something new for Ring's battery doorbells. And the Ring 3 doesn't have this feature. And this is quick replies where the doorbell has preset messages that you can play. You can adjust the response time from right away or up to 20 seconds before the doorbell plays the message. And you can choose which message to play. Also, as I showed earlier, you can also have this option when you are in live view. We have device settings where you can adjust the video settings, turning on and off the HDR, live view, and pre-roll. Then you can set the video recording length from the default 30 seconds. But if the advanced motion detection is on, it will cut short the footage when motion stops. And you can adjust the recording from 15 to up to 120 seconds. The longer the recording, the more it uses the battery life. Then we have the snapshot capture and you can set how often the camera saves a picture from every hour to every 14 minutes or it can be as often as 5 minutes if the camera is wired in or is solar powered. And there is privacy settings where you can turn off audio recordings and set privacy zones and you can set up to 2 zones. Now there are a lot more settings that I will not be able to show here but there's one thing that Ring doesn't give a user an option to change. And it is a very basic feature and I'm not sure why. They do however gave this option on their new Ring Pro 2. And that is for the user to turn on and off the night vision. Anyways, time to do some testing. But before that, if you like this video and my other videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. 
and click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you. This is the video and audio quality of the Ring Video Doorbell 4 and this with the HDR on and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So and audio quality again of the Ring Video Doorbell 4 and I've turned off the pre-roll because when I download the footage with the pre-roll on it is only in 7 frames per second, so hopefully this is better. This is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell, and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. Okay, so Ring has a bug to fix on this one. Recorded footage with the pre-roll on looks good when viewed in the app, but when you download the footage to your phone or download it from your account on their website to your computer, the frame rate is the same as the pre-roll, which is 7 frames per second. So the footage is choppy. And this is what you're going to see in the night vision testing, which I'll also show you how it looks when played from their app on my phone. The video quality of the Ring Video Doorbell 4 at night, and this with my fan porch lights on, and its infrared LEDs are turned on, and there is no option to turn it off on the app. But this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Ring Video Doorbell 4 at night. No lights. And it's uh, four infrared LEDs are turned on. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. quality of the Ring Video Doorbell 4 at night and this with my front porch lights on and its infrared LEDs are turned on and there is no option to turn it off on the app but this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. Another thing, because Ring doesn't give you an option to turn off night vision and the camera's light sensor is not sensitive enough to get color recording at night with my porch lights on, then I'm only going to have black and white footage at night in my setup. So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Ring Video Doorbell 4. And I'm on my LTE connection and let's check it out. I have my Pro 2 still here but it's turned off so that there will be no interference. There you go, I got the notification and when you click and hold you will get a snapshot preview and you can tap on it again and it should go to live view like so okay so we are going to test the uh, cool off period of the ring video doorbell 4 so it's about about a minute and I also changed the setting to uh, the motion frequency to frequent so there should be no cool off so let's check it out again There you go. Well, I got a notification again, so not little to no cool off. So we are going to test the uh, doorbell push to notification speed of the Ring Video Doorbell 4. There you go. I got the notification. And when you click on it, it will go to live view. There you go. So we are going to do the porch pirate test for the uh, Ring Video Doorbell 4 and I'm also uh, uh, the Ring Pro 2 is also turned on. So let's check it out. Yeah, got the notifications. Please leave the package outside. If you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. We can't answer the door right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Hi, we'll be right there. Sorry, we're not interested. 
Thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Hi. Please wait. It may take me a moment to answer. Someone is at the ring floor. Uh, yes, can I help you? Can you hear me? Um, I was just wondering how fact she was here. Uh, he's not here right now. Uh, you well, want to leave a message? Um, yeah, I just had to tidy for him and also tell him that the doorbell has been delayed on you. Yeah, I could barely hear you too. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, can I help you? Um, yes, I was just wondering if Life Hackster was here. Can you hear me? Hello? Uh, uh he's not here right now. Uh, you want to leave a message? Um, yeah, I just had this package for him and also tell him that the doorbell has some delayed audio. Yeah, I could barely hear you too. Okay, thank you. Show me ring four. Okay. Someone is at the ring four. Hey, hey, how can I help you? Uh, yes, I'm here to give you your money. Okay, the door is unlocked. Come in. Alright, thank you. So what do you think guys? Is this doorbell a worthy upgrade to the doorbell 3? Mm, I'm not really sure. The color pre recording is a bit better because it is in color, but it is still low quality. That like in my porch pirate test, you will see where the person came from. But if you want to zoom in and see if you can identify the person, it is just too grainy. Compare this to my Pro 2. With wired video doorbells, their pre-roll is 6 seconds and full quality footage. So you can easily zoom in and the face will be recognizable. I'm going to make another video comparing rings, battery, and wired video doorbells and just to drive it home that wired is the way to go if you want a reliable and dependable video doorbell. Heck, I'll even compare any of rings battery doorbells to their cheap $60 wired one and I'm pretty sure it will come out on top. Anyways, any questions? Comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.